uh, my full review of the Flashwork uh, Creator 3D printer. It's an amazing printer guys and I just love it. Uh, it makes amazing prints, the quality is great, but it has some cons. Um, a problem it had was a fan, it made a lot of sound and I put a new fan there, so now it works perfect. I'm gonna show you that, how to do it. I'm gonna show you how I customized it, customized this printer and uh, just give you a full review of how it works. So if you will look at a small part of my 3D collection, you can see I printed some little guys like this Marvin guy and um, some other stuff. Um, and um, the most of them are from my old printer and the orange parts are from a new one. And you can see there's an iPhone 5 case. Uh, it looks really good. It came out pretty solid. Um, this is just a simple thing I printed. And this is a really amazing part. It's a fishing rod wheel. So this is for your own 3D printer. Um, this is for my older one, but I printed it on the new one. And um, the teeth and stuff here, the fishing bone teeth are really nice. And uh, they came out just really cool and really professional. Um, some other parts I printed uh, are this. It's a fan mount, so you put a fan up here. You connect it to the motherboard or just to the cables directly and it will um, cool off the extruder while printing so you put it like up here and it will just cool them off it's really great for, uh, for using on your printer uh, you can see the bed is really large so you can print like long objects I also printed some of these these are parts um, for your for this own printer so I can put it on this there are like kind of legs for it um, I use them but they are not finished yet so I need to print uh, other parts that fit in here and then th these are going to be finished I also printed some of these little froggies so they are cool and I just print them for like a decoration on the printer because I, I just don't like the design overall it's a nice design it's from wood but it's it's so empty you know it's just a really empty design so I put some stickers on it uh, from 3D Hubs and yeah I did that to fill up the printer so it would not be uh, too empty and looking like really cold so I, I gonna upgrade this printer I gonna put more parts up here and stuff like that so I, I gonna customize it um, how I like it you can see you can put two filament extruders in there uh, I mean filament rolls excuse me guys uh, this is ABS and that's PLA you can print in almost any material on this printer so printing in materials is not a problem at all um, you put in the filaments really easy they just go through these tubes you can let the tubes out if you want to if you prefer that but uh, I just love to use the tubes so let's check if it's still okay yes and uh, it's connected all really good the printer has a built-in SD slot um, it's right here so you just put up the files on your SD card put it in the printer and it will read them so your computer uh, is not needed but you can use it as well there is a port behind the printer the printer speed and quality are just amazing and I love this printer guys it's much better than my old printer in quality I don't like the programs where I edit it and then put it on my SD card because I can't see my model after uh, like exporting uh, the G code and stuff. I don't know how it works. Maybe there is a way, but in uh, I'm using replic uh, Replicator G and Slicer, I can just see the uh, models after export and even before export, I can't see it in Slicer. So that's really bad and should be improved, I think. Uh, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. So. You have a little screen that is connected to the motherboard of the printer below here. And I, you can see it says the uh, Flashforge Creator, print from SD, preheat. You have the utilities and that's the first menu. If you go to print from SD, you'll see all the files you have on your SD card. So I have here some iPhone cases, uh, this fan mount and stuff like that on my SD card and you can print it. If you go to preheat, you can say what you want to pre it. If I want to pre it the right extruder, I can do that to change my filament. And this is something I really like about this printer. 
If you go to utilities, you have a lot of stuff like filament loading. It's the same. It's easier in monitor mode. You can see um, the progress of your printer and how old it is and stuff. You have the pre-hit settings, the general settings, which we will look in a second. You have the level build plate, the home axis, uh, and that's actually it. So you can home your printer and just level and calibrate everything, which is not uh, really needed after you've done it once. Um, let's go to the general settings. Here you've got like the ditto printing, if you want sound, if, you, if the pulse is with heat, without heat, so while you're pausing it, uh, if the extruders go off and stuff, so just general stuff of the printer. Uh, I always love to calibrate the, pr uh, the bed while it's printing, so I usually start the printer and then I just um, uh, unscrew or screw the screws below the print bed and it will go higher or lower and then I will see if the print sticks well to the bed. Some problems I had is the sound of the printer. You hear it, it's right now from the battery, but that's not a big problem. The biggest problem was the sound from this fan. So this fan was damaged and uh, it made a lot of sound and it, it was just annoying guys. And it made so much sound that I, I just got really annoyed with it. And then I bought this fan for 8 euros on the internet. I put it on there and it works and there is no sound at all while it's printing. So thank you guys for watching this video. My uh, end conclusion is that it is an amazing printer, it prints perfectly, uh, it had some minor problems but you can fix them by your own for really cheap, so I think like um, getting a new bed on it because the original one is too thin and sometimes the fans bro break off really fast, but after that you have a really great printer. So thanks guys and I will see you in my next video.